Hello, welcome to the fun of this world. If you have watched some of the other videos, you probably already know that Panoptes is an awesome robot that's searching for planets outside our solar system. What you see here are the different elements you'll find in a classic Panoptes unit's world. Tag along as we go on a little journey through this world. Let's start with, say, the camera box. That's a Panoptes camera box saying, Hi, I am the good looking head of a Panoptes unit. I take photos of the night sky using cameras. The camera box is just like our heads. The camera box has a brain inside in the form of a sport computer. This computer brain tells the eyes, that is the cameras inside this box, where to look and which stars to photograph. Those two eyes you see on the Panoptes head are two cameras inside the box, which are controlled by the computer brain. Here is one beautiful image of the stars taken by a Panoptes head. Look at how colorful the stars are. You can also see some strange, fuzzy, dark dust just floating between those stars. Wasn't that fun? Let's see what else we have here. Mm, let's go to that big name over there, weatherproofed mount. Now we have our necks on which we can turn our heads from side to side, like left to right, or we can nod up and down, right? So the mount on a Panoptes unit is like our necks on which the Panoptes head sits. This allows for the head to rotate from side to side and look up in different directions. So the head can turn and then the cameras can take photos of any star that is visible anywhere in the night sky. So if there is a star visible here that I want to photograph with the Panoptes unit, I just need to tell it to turn to that direction. And the neck will allow for the head to turn and look up at that star. Cool, right? Let's next check out the peer and base. The peer and base are just like our legs, holding the rest of our bodies up straight and stable. But we don't all have the same legs, right? Some of us are taller, some of us are shorter, some of us have slender legs, some of us have bigger legs. In that same way, the Panoptes units also have different legs, as you can see here. They're all unique in their own ways. So we also have the weather station. Now, just like we have our senses, the hearing, the smell, the taste, the skin, touch, and eyes can see. So just like we have our senses to tell us if it's hot or cold outside, or if it's raining or snowing, the weather station tells the unit if the weather outside is safe for the cameras to look at the stars. So you know if you have a camera or a mobile and if it's raining outside or if it's snowing outside, you can't be holding up your camera at that time, right? Because most of them are not waterproof. So this is like a warning for the unit that the weather station wants the unit saying that, okay, it's raining outside, it's not safe for you to look at the stars. So go to sleep. Then we have the control box. That's like our heart, which sends out signals to all the other parts of the unit and keeps the unit alive. The control box itself gets its instructions from the control center. The control center is typically the unit builder controlling his or her Panoptes unit using just a laptop from home. Imagine building a robot that you can completely control from your home with just a laptop. Now from your laptop, you tell the unit which stars to photograph that night. And the unit will photograph those stars at night while you go to sleep. When you wake up in the morning, you can just download these photos from the Panoptes data website. Wasn't all of that cool? Imagine building your own robot that you can then control using a laptop from your home and discover new exoplanets around some stars in the galaxy. Wait, we are not done. I saved the best part for the last. Do you know how old you have to be to build these Panoptes robots? 
A lot of Panoptis units are built by high school students. In fact, the youngest team building a Panoptis unit is from middle school. Wasn't that all cool? We hope to see you in your own Panoptis world in the future. Bye.